S'mores cookies are first on the list. So I've just been mixing the wet ingredients together. Melted butter, beaten egg, sugar, and honey. And then I'm gonna drizzle in a little bit of vanilla. This basically is the s'mores version of a cookie. Everything that's great about s'mores all wrapped up in cookie form. That sounds incredible to me. So that's the wet ingredients. For the dry ingredients, it starts with flour, of course. And I love this ingredient, ground graham cracker crumbs. Can't have s'mores without graham crackers. And then baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Whoop! I'm making a mess, but that's okay because I'm leaving soon, as soon as the treats are done. <laughs> Maybe the house will magically clean itself. Okay, so I got the dry ingredients mixed together and I'm gonna add them to the wet ingredients. And start stirring those together just to incorporate them. So I have a couple more things to add before I scoop them onto the cookie sheet. Beautiful chocolate chips and mini marshmallows because these are s'mores cookies. I suspect these aren't gonna last that long in Betsy's house. All right, to scoop the cookies, and by the way, these are big cookies. I'm gonna scoop a good amount of dough onto a parchment lined sheet pan, and then more chocolate, of course. Got some chunks of chocolate, squares of chocolate bars, and I'll just press it right on top. All right, so that's one cookie scooped. Now I've got 11 more to do. And that's 12 s'mores cookies ready for the next two steps. Put them in the fridge for 30 minutes. Then the second, no surprise, is to bake them. So I'll put them in a 350 degree oven for six minutes. Then rotate the pans so the cookies bake evenly. And then I'll give them another six minutes. You are not gonna believe these cookies. Check it out. Oh my. Gosh, those big chunks of chocolate on top are out of this world. So the cookies actually look amazing just as they are now and you could consider them done, but I like to do one little final step. I have big marshmallows and I cut them in half and I'm putting them cut side down right on top of the cookies because of course s'mores have toasted marshmallows in the middle, so we have to have some toasted marshmallow action in here somewhere. Most of the marshmallows in the cookies are just really soft and gooey inside, but this step really drives that s'mores point home. All right, so back to the oven. I'm gonna turn the broiler on, and then I'm gonna broil these one pan at a time until the marshmallows are toasted. I am not leaving my post because they can get too brown really quickly. It's just gonna take about a minute per pan. The second pan is ready to come out from under the broiler. And when I say these brown quickly, I mean it. That was less than a minute because of the amount of honey in the dough. They can get really brown really quickly, but oh, they're so toasty and wonderful. 